Hey everyone, I'm Sedin. We're back for another level of Orcs Must Die. We're gonna start with the fork. Well, not start. That's what the one we're on. Go listen to me. Anyways, this one we get the arrow wall, which is awesome. There's nothing really special about it, I just love using it. I use it on everything. Just so you know, if you can hear something in the background, it's because the furnace is on and it's right beside my chair. The vent, not the furnace. So it might be a little loud. It's keeping me really warm and toasty. Let's just start the game. Aha! Uh -huh. With oh, the yeah. old man dead and my apprenticeship finally over, I can draw on the full power of the rift. I'll get a new toy to play with every time I defend a rift. Yeah, pretty much every level we beat, we get a new item or trap, whatever you want to call them. This big guy's a guardian. He'll, uh, he's pretty much melee, I'm sure. So he'll do melee attacks if monsters get too close to him. And he'll help me defend the rift. I'm pretty sure they have to kill him before they'll go walk through and hit the rift. I'm not entirely sure. They shouldn't get that far anyways. If there's archers, it'd be a little easier because archers can shoot down here and actually help me. But anyways, the hallway was the first level had one door in one hallway. Second level is the fork has two doors that go into one hallway. So it's pretty straightforward as well. We'll take all our traps. I'm still not gonna touch the DLC ones. Don't need them. The vampire one is cool. You could take uh, health from the monsters. Or you could change your own health for mana. It tells you in the description. Right now we're still in the standard orcs. Apparently a cat just walked in the room. If she doesn't keep meowing, I'll let her stay. If she does, I'll have to kick her out of the room. Her name's Kitten. She's an awesome cat. Warning, may cause death. Very uh straightforward name. Not too creative. That's just what we did. Oh. Not even paying attention to what I'm doing. That's pretty much what I want to do, but I want to incorporate uh arrow walls. Ooh, here's a good, good one. There. Ooh, here's a good one. Well these are expensive. Nobody gets hurt. No, I when I have enough money, I'll put spike traps in front because they'll give me a combo point. And I get more points by the end of the level. If you're worried you're not going to beat the level, don't worry about that. I just like seeing how many points I could get without actually having to go for a high score. Just playing the game normally. They're breaking zoom in, through. I'd rather not. I keep forgetting I'm zoomed in and then I'm screwed when they're really close to me. Oh, Let's take only one door at a time right now. If I can start with this one and then switch to the other one the next wave. And after that, I'm probably gonna do both of them. It's pretty predictable. Plus I've already played the game, but the orcs must die either a long time ago. Could be wrong. Oh, it's that didn't happen. I get excited. I get spam the crossbow to try and slow them all down. It also hurts though. But if I'm more focused, I'll shoot in the head. I'm pretty sure you also get more points for headshots. So maybe I should try and do more of those. I just want to try and get through the levels. That's the main goal. Apparently I can't jump when I'm using it. I just try. Too fast for me. Oh, I'll shoot me. Shoot him out. <laughs> can't get the button down. Yeah, the group together, you can stun them all a few more times. Try and keep them in the arrow wall. Didn't work. Now 
Santa coming out of the He almost got a hit. I took it away from him from the kill steal. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Well, he tried to kill no, wait, steal mine. No way around. There we go. It shouldn't get through there as easily as it did. But now we have two doors coming at the same time. I'm just doing this because I want to try and get a bigger combo point or kill streak. Something for your face. So slow them all down in a smaller hallway. <laughs> These pillars are being annoying. They're in the way. Ooh, shiny. There. So it's like uh, funneling them into a tighter spot. And hopefully the arrow walls will be able to kill them all and get a higher. Uh, Kill streak. Plus, if I saved a little money by not going three in a row. For the last wave. Force. You coming in full force? Cut them all. Air walls have to reset. Watch them all die. Don't kill me. I'm Well, yeah, the uh, weapon's pretty awesome. Also They're all dying. We beat it. Still pretty straightforward, nothing too hard. Five skulls like usual. We can actually afford upgrades now. Which I'm gonna upgrade. Viking. Even more slower. I do like my arrow off. That probably is gonna be really good. I've got a limited amount. I can't take it back when I spend it. So you get a little shield on here to show that it's been upgraded. I'm not sure if that is as far as it can be upgraded. But it might be because it doesn't show any more skulls underneath. So maybe on things only upgrade once. In Orcs was that too, you could upgrade everything multiple times and different aspects and it's a lot more in depth. But either way, both Orcs was that and Orcs was that too are really fun. So that's the fork. We're done with this video. Hope you like it. You can subscribe and everything to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video.